the deeper wisdom. I want to share a section from Zohar. The Zohar, as we know, is divided among portions, and every portion has a commentary on it. And uh, the commentary was uh, one of the best commentary I was reading. It's by Rav Ashlag, Bali Sulam. One of the most important sections of Zohar, there's also a few very, very unique little books within Zohar. One of them is called Safra de Tenuta, the concealed book, and it holds, we are told, really all the secrets of the universe and the creation. In the introduction to that little book, there's a story I would like to share with you. The Zohar asks, what is this concealed show, short five books chapter? And Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the out of the Zohar, the higher soul who was able to receive the information and the light of the Creator, says the hidden book, the concealed book, is the short book that has within all secrets of the world. Rabbi Yehuda, one of his students, asked Rav Shimon why, if this short five-chapter book holds within all the secrets, it is not the most important of all the secrets of the Zohar. And also he asked what the purpose is of the other section of the Zohar if this book has all the secrets on it. The answer Rav Shimon gives brings a parable. He said, you can compare this to a man who has lived his entire life in the mountains, secluded from the rest of the world, never interact with people, with growth in this man's field, and every day he goes out into the field, gather comes all the wheat he grows, eat the carnets, drinks water, and survives that day. This man doesn't know how people eat the rest of the world and how they use the same wheat. One day, this man goes into the city and decides to see how everyone, how everybody lives there. He walks by ba bakery and they give him a lot of warm bread. He eats and enjoys the taste. He asks the baker, what is made from? And the baker says, it is made from the wheat. Then they bring him cakes. He takes them and again he was amazed and he asks what they are made from, to which they again reply, they are made from the same wheat. Then they bring him some cakes with the honey and oil on them. And again he asks what are they made from, to which they again tell him they are all made from the wheat. The man says, certainly, I already have all this because I eat the root, I eat the source, I eat the kernels of the wheat. Rav Shimon explains that because of the man's silly thought that since he eats those kernels of wheat, it is if he already has the bread, the cakes and the pastries. He actually never learned how to make bread or cake and therefore was lost from all the delicious of this world. And the same is true, Rabbi Shimon says, about the person who begins the study and comes to the certain point of the studies, but doesn't delve deeper. And Rabbi Shimon says, the more we push ourselves to understand the deep wisdom, the more we can receive the light of Creator. Sometimes we come to study any spiritual wisdom, it can be Kabbalah, it can be any other spirituality, and understand some of the basic concepts, or maybe even some of the deeper concepts, and we are using the tools, transforming on some level, and at a certain point, yes, we stay connected, but we don't push ourselves to deepen in the understanding of the wisdom. And unfortunately, as Rav Shimon says here in the Zohar, if a person goes on that path, it will be like they have the wheat, but they won't have the bread and or cake. In other words, they won't have the deep transformation, fulfillment, and connection to the light of Creator that is meant to come. And when we come, 
to each connect to each connection or study is we are brand new we always need to feel then this is the first time we open the book and the excitement we had initially we need to bring this energetical force in order to allow ourselves to go deeper it pushes us to delve deeper when my teacher Ralph Burke began his study with his dear teacher Ralph Bradwine in Jerusalem in almost every second of the third letter his teacher Ralph Bradwine would push my teacher by asking him are you going deeper because Ralph Ralph Bradwine the teacher of my teacher it is not just about the work the work without the deepening of the wisdom will bring us only to a certain point is Kabbalist through the centuries repeatedly reminding us that to be able to taste deeper wisdom to understand our soul our higher self the light and fulfillment we have to go deeper in understanding the wisdom therefore the commitment that we are approach our spiritual work and understanding of the wisdom we must push ourselves to delve deeper because to whatever degree our deepening of wisdom is limited is the degree to which our connection to the creator of the sort of the creator is limited the more we push ourselves to understand the deep wisdom the more we can receive the light of creator and truly achieve the blessings we are meant to achieve in our lifetimes many blessings